everybody, Ali from Portland Printables here. This video I want to share a 3D printed pendant that I designed. It features a functional iris mechanism and a front cover which can be customized. And of course you can put whatever picture you want to at the center of it. All the files are on Thingiverse if you want to build it for yourself and a link to that is in the description down below. Let's first start by taking a look at the CAD. The core iris mechanism is based on a design by a Thingiverse user named Count Spatula. What a great name, by the way. This pendant is listed as a remix of that design. So I tried to learn some lessons based on the earlier iris rings that I made. One lesson is about the tiny M1 screws I used in those rings. For this design, I used m 3 by 8 millimeter screws. They can pretty much be any head type, socket, pan, cheese, whatever. The only head type I don't recommend is flathead. My goal is that anyone, anywhere, can go to their local hardware store and get the screws needed to make this. Using a larger screw size also folds into another lesson, which is making overall assembly easier. Let's take a quick look at printing the parts out, and then how to assemble the pendant. So the first step of the assembly process is to put some silicone grease, or plumber's grease, onto the side of the slotted discs with the little nubs. So you want to coat the nubs. And then just put a little bit kind of all across the top surface. Next we want to take the iris blades and place them on top of the slotted disc with everything in the orientation shown. I also recommend printing an extra iris blade and placing it at the center so that it can support everything while you complete this step. So you want to take an iris blade and you want to line up this hole with the end of one of the slots. Just like that. And that outer edge, the outer edges should match. And now we do the same thing for the other blades can help to hold the blades that have already been placed on with your finger so they don't pop off. Then we use a small piece of painter's tape to hold the blades in place. Then you want to flip the assembly over and take another piece of painter's tape and place it in the center. This will really hold everything together. Now I'm going to take the five M3 by eight screws and place them through the assembly. Now we're going to attach these pieces to the front cover. Remember, the screws are going to be cutting threads into the plastic piece, so you might have to use a little bit of oomph. Now with all the screws started to thread in, we want to set their height and tightness. You don't want to screw them all in and screw them too tight because that'll just lock the mechanism up. You want them loose enough so that the mechanism will operate freely. Okay, with the iris mechanism assembled now, you'll be tempted to try it out immediately, but don't forget to take the tape off of both sides before you do that. It is a bit awkward to operate the iris mechanism without it glued down to the base, but it's good to see that the iris mechanism is functional before you complete those final steps. Now we need to use double stick tape, which can be scrapbooking tape, to affix the picture or symbol of our choice into the base. So I've laid two strips of double stick tape over the picture, and now I just need to trim it to size and then put it into the base. When you tape the symbol of your choice in place, just make sure that it lines up roughly with how the necklace is going to be hanging. In the final step, we're going to bond the iris mechanism to the base using a two-part epoxy. I like to use something called JB Quick. Um, it gives you about five minutes to get everything lined up right. And again, you're going to want to make sure that the iris mechanism is lined up to the base and the picture. When you're applying the epoxy to the base, there's two steps. The epoxy goes on the innermost step. Okay, so I've applied the epoxy, and we have just have a thin bead on that second step. And then we just place the base down into that and get the alignment right. Here we have the functional iris mechanism 
on the pendant. A fun aspect of this design is the front cover of the pendant. It's very easy to design your own custom cover. Let's take a look at some of the cover designs I came up with, which will be released with the SDL files. So you've already seen the first design of the cover. Um, it's meant to mirror the effect of the opening iris blades, and they also kind of look like waves when they're done in blue. The next design was inspired by the points on a compass. On an early iteration, these points were too sharp, but I rounded them off a bit, and this seems to work nicely. Finally, we have my poor attempt at a tribute to the amazing designer, Dzingoff. Hopefully I'm saying the name right. And this brings me to my challenge to all you designers out there. I'm decent with the mechanical aspects of designs like this. But when it comes to creating a beautiful, artistic, and creative cover, I think I'm a bit lacking. To remedy this, I've posted a drawing for the base dimensions of the cover with the STL files. That's what's shown here. These are the required features to make the iris mechanism function. But I'd love to see what designers in the community can come up with for amazing front cover designs. The possibilities are endless. You could customize a front cover for a loved one, for a favorite movie or book, your own YouTube channel, and on and on. That's it for this video. I hope you like the design of this iris pendant. And you can go print one for yourself right now fire up your favorite CAD program and make your own custom cover. If you do make a custom cover, be sure to share pictures with me on the social media platform of your choice. Links to my various accounts are down below. Also, I recently started a Patreon page with hopes of taking the content of this channel to the next level. If you'd like to support the channel, please visit patreon.com slash potentpreneurs. I'll see you all next time, and I'll go print something potent. Hopefully this.